Mike Evans, who Ooh. might be considered underrated in his own right, has joined an elite club of being just one of only seven men in NFL history who have nine different 1,000-yard receiving seasons. Mm. Your question is this. Which underrated NFL wide receiver is the only man not named Jerry Rice to have multiple Super, ring, Super Bowl rings and at least eight 1,000-yard seasons. At wow. least eight 1,000-yard seasons. So obviously at the top, Jules has multiple rings, does not have eight 1,000-yard seasons. Torrey Holt, I think, has maybe six. I'm going to go with D. Art Monk. I'm going to go with D. Art Monk. Art Monk's a Hall of Famer. Can you be underrated if you're a Hall of Famer? He's no. on the list. Mm. The He's correct all- answer is... C, Rod Smith. Rod Smith won two Super Bowls with the Denver Broncos and caught over 1,000 yards in eight different seasons. Hmm. Smith had 152 receiving yards and a touchdown. Sorry, Eugene Robinson. In Super Bowl 33 against the Falcons, Rod Smith, an all-time player. Now, look, Torrey Holt does have the 8,000-yard seasons, but only has one Super Bowl title, mm-hmm. while Art Monk and Julian Edelman each have the multiple Super Bowl rings, mm. but did not have the 8,000-yard seasons. Rod Smith. Wow. Wildly underrated in history. He is the Broncos' all-time leading receiver. I'm going to make the hunter become the hunted. There are two other all-time leading receivers for teams whose last name is Smith, and they are from this generation. Can you name both of them? Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith for the Jaguars, mm-hmm. yes. Yes. And, and the other one's obvious. Steve Smith Sr.? That's it, Peter. I love we it. love That's it. it. Love nice it. job, buddy. Oh, gosh, I'm hot right now. Ready to go. Put on, put on the moment. Put on the <laughs> scene. Put the sport coat on. Got a little smarter. Uh, Jamie. Yes. It's your turn. Okay. Which of the following underrated NFL wide receivers had the following resume bullet points? Multiple 100 catch seasons, 10,000 career receiving yards, and played for just one team, the Holy Grail, his entire NFL career. Well, um, I'm going to eliminate B because I know Brandon Marshall played for two different teams. My uh, working history on A and C are not great, so I'm going to go D, Heinz Ward. D. Well. Keep it quick. Let's hear it from the man himself who was always one for the words and was always one for one team only. Mm. Take it away. Who's the best receiver in the NFL? That would be me. <laughs> it's Sunday, baby. No more talk. Time to stop balling. What's up? What's up? It's Sunday now. It's time to ball. We about to get it in. It's Sunday. We playing football now. It's all I know how to do. It's all I want to do, baby. Because I go out here and I work hard every day. Especially on Sundays. <laughs> Roddy White. I, underrated. And now after saying Heinz Ward, I, and then I take it back to, to, to Jason's answer. He's not underappreciated, so I should have gone yeah, more. You know, true. he is appreciated. appreciated. I should have. in the Dark Knight Rises. Right? Ele- he is. He and Bill yeah. Cowher both. Uh, 11 NFL seasons, all with the Falcons. Mm-hmm. Four straight Pro Bowls. He uh, finished his career with 10,000 receiving yards, 63 touchdowns. Roddy White, what's mm. your appreciation level? I, I'm going back at you. Name the other Steelers wide receiver who is in the Dark Knight Rises on the sideline standing next to Bill Cowher. It's a weird one. Martavis Bryant? Mike, Mike Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> Mike Wallace, Jason. Yeah. It's Mike Wallace, speedster. Yes. Long legs, right? Yes. Go Lima Swede. No, 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 no. That's Kyle, really good. Are you ready for one? Yeah. 1995, Herman Moore. I love Herman Moore. Wildly underrated. I love him. 84. Had a then record 123 Ooh. receptions. In Was Scotty season. Mitchell throwing it to him? Scotty Mitchell. Yep, the I knew it. Throwing them to slingers in the kid. In the Silver Dome. Peter, I'm going to stop you already. What reality show was Scott Mitchell on? <laughs> I don't know. The Biggest Loser. Was he on? Yes, he, he had gained a lot of weight and he lost oh. a whole bunch of it. Scott Mitchell, Biggest Loser we, on NBC. You we dubbed up. this man the commissioner of our draft and now he's just taking over a segment. He's no, totally just that. becoming the host. Shout out to Jillian Michaels. Damn right. Got sure. Jillian Michaels. Michaels. <laughs> Which yeah. actor? Go! Yeah. Go! <laughs> Dr. Bob. Yeah. Which like actor Bob. played roles in the number two and number three grossing movies at the box office in 1995? So it's not just one movie. Two of the top five movies that made money that year, two and three. All right. This guy was in both of them. Or Tom girl. Hanks, Jim Carrey, Dunzel Washington, and I just gave it away. It's not Sandra Bullock. <laughs> well, Sandra Bullock was in Speed. Yeah. And I figured that she, and that was her, her coming out party. So she, while you were sleeping, probably around that age. Bill yeah. Pullman. And Speed representing the Arizona Wildcats. Yes. All right. Carrie, massive blow up. 95, I believe, is the mask, because 94 was Dumb and Dumber. 95 is the mask. <laughs> 
Hanks, I don't identify with 95 because 94 was Gump. Mm -hmm. And so it, we weren't the castaway yet. So I'm going to say Denzel 95. I'm just going to go with Carrie. Smoking! Yeah. <laughs> Carrie was it, I got it wrong. in Ace Ventura 2 that year. When Nature Calls it, that was 96. Yes, no, that was 95. Okay. And he was also in Batman Forever, which did very well. However, it wasn't number two and number three. Number two was Toy Story. Number oh, three was Toy Apollo Story. 13. You got me on the Toy Story. <laughs> Tom Hanks starred as Commander Jim Lovell in Apollo 13. <laughs> Hanks also was in Toy Story. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> uh, Apollo 13 grossed the second most money at the box office that year, while Toy Story grossed the third. Do you think it's a technicality that he's Are you challenging no. that? Like, it's Tom legit. Hanks is... You want yeah. a fun fact about that? All the merchandise of Woody, all of the things, the pull string and everything, yeah. they're all over the world. It is not Tom Hanks' voice. It is his brother. Tom Hanks' brother records the Woody voice. The Hanks throws it to him and says, you can do it. Give him a check. It's his brother. It's really cool. You would wow. think he does the segment. It, all of this Somebody poison the water hole. That's that was incredible. a great one, Peter. Tom's you got brother. Me. You got me. You got God. Brother name? I don't, I don't know his name. I'll look it up. But it's Tom Hanks' brother does all the Woody voices okay. for all the wow. stuff. Isn't that cool? Uh, a video clue. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. So far, we're 0 for 3 as a show. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't happen much. Yeah. Makes me happy. I thought it was Carrie. Uh, Jim. Which, Underrated <laughs> wide receiver is number 19, sandwiched between Andre Reid and Art Monk, two Hall of Famers, on the NFL's all-time receptions list. So you've got Andre Reid at 18, you've got Art Monk at 20. Who's 19? Is it Irving Fryer? Is it Keenan McCardell? Is it Brandon Cooks? Or is it Derek Mason? Jamie, we'll go with you first, then oh, Jason, right. then Kyle. Um, I'm just gonna go with uh, with my guy Keenan McCardell, the Vikings wide receivers coach, yeah. mm. uh, and his uh, fashion statements that he used to make walking in. I, I believe he was a big fur coat guy sure. at the time. So I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna go with A. Irvin Fryer played against his son growing up in high school. London really? Fryer, yes. Cool. I'm gonna go with Irvin Fryer. Derek Mason was a machine in Tennessee. He was just every year he would produce and produce and produce. I don't know the answer to this, but I, I'm gonna go D, Mason. Let's find out. Okay. And let's go to Greg Gumbel and Phil Sims in a playoff game. A playoff game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Up in New England. Mm. Take a listen. Mm. McNair throws and that's complete. Inside the five, Derek Mason looking for the end zone. No touchdown signal as yet. It is now a touchdown. It's the blitz. Terrific pickup by the Tennessee Titans. Derek Mason absolutely goes over the pylon. It's a touchdown. There's the same move again. Fake inside. Asante Samuels cannot make the tackle. Derek Mason, prolific. Well done. Prolific. Yes. prolific. 19th all-time, 943 career receptions. Wow. Andre Reid had 951. Art Monk had less mm -hmm. with 940. Real wow. quick, some good sightings there. Drew Bennett, Steve mm -hmm. McNair, and then our favorite for our show, Tyrone Calico. Tyrone Calico was a wide receiver drafted same draft class as Nate Burleson, drafted ahead of Nate Burleson. Mm. Andre Johnson was in there, a couple other great guys. I love seeing that footage. Derek I love Mason. Awesome. Derek Mason, amazing. Shout out Talk to Derek Mason. Too.